Okay. Are you struggling to kind of manage all the visuals that you have in Power BI? You've got, you know, you've got all these KPI cards, you've got matrixes, you've got line charts, you've got all, you've got all this craziness. And then you throw on some like bookmarks and it just, it just gets to be too much, right? On this video, I'm going to show you the best practices around like how and where to like manage your visuals through grouping, naming, and bookmarks. All right. Kind of excited about this one. It's kind of a little bit of in-depth wonky stuff, but we're going to do like the whole thing and we're going to build this out together. I'm kind of excited about it. We'll see you on, on my desktop. Do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, leave comments, share it. You know, all that stuff really helps me out. I appreciate it. If you want to do more help though, to support the channel, become a member for as little as $5 a month. You can get early access to all this content. Okay. So here is my uh, basic report. Let's get started. What have I done already? Uh, so we're, we're building a report. We're going to, we're going to have the basics in place. Number one, we're going to be building off our enterprise data model. Number two, we're going to have our theme imported. Number three, we're going to have a background set on our report. So we are always building out and things are looking good. Okay. So first off, I'm going to be starting with my fact internet sales. I'm going to be putting in my KPI measures onto my page. Okay. So I know which ones I want. I'm going to be using internet sales amount. Let me just change this to my KPI card. Where did, where did you go? KPI? There you are. Well, that's going super fast. Wake up, Power BI. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, there we go. So I've got my measure in place, but this isn't the formatting that I want. I want to go in and make sure that I've got, I've got this set up right. So I'm going to turn off my header icon. I don't need that. Uh, I want my title icon, but uh, where is my properties? effects background. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to go into my visual. I'm going to call it my labels. I want these in white because I'm going to be on a white background or a blue background, right? So it's going to look like this, right? And while I love the new, uh, card visual, uh, I struggle with it because I can't get it as narrow as I'd want. Like I can with, uh, with my power BI with a, a card like this. Right. Oh, and I've got some sort of effect visual border. Turn that off. Okay. So I've got that in place. I've got it in my card. No, I'm going to basically to keep my life simple. I'm going to put my cards all out here. So these are the measures that I'm going to want to have. I know I've got one more I want to have in here. Copy paste. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click. I'm going to, uh, where'd it go? Oh, first I want to do format. I want to align and I want to distribute them horizontally so that they're equally spaced out and I want to align to make sure they're aligned to the top, which they are. And then what I want to do is well, I want to right click and I want to choose group. I want to set that group now. Now it's very easy for me to move these around, get them to the right format that I want them to have. And it becomes easy for me to just swap out these visuals, right? Once these are in place, it's very easy to do that, right? Now we can add those components in. Now I'm noticing uh, there's some information here that's not right. So I'm going to just make some quick little adjustments to this to make sure that it's right. I've grouped these. I've got these all set up, right? This is looking good, but I will also want to make sure that I name these. Okay. Uh, so I can actually make it very easy for me to toggle these on and off or even set bookmarks on them. So I've got this group already grouped, right? If I want to name these, I have to go over to my view and then go to my selection uh, tab. Okay. Now you can see in the selection tab here, I've got this group option. Oopsies. 
I've got this group option right here where I can group and control and, and like hide them, show them, that type of a thing. But I'm gonna rename this so it's very easy for me to identify these. So these are my uh, internet sales KPIs, okay? All right, so I'm gonna make sure that they've got really good names on it, all right? So I've, I've done that, this is all well and good. Now I'm gonna go in and I, I for this first page, I wanna actually create a hero visual, which is a scatter chart, which is gonna be a big visual on my page. And I'm gonna be measuring internet sales amount, order quantity, and profit is what's gonna be my size, okay? So we got, we'll go quick do that rename that we did up above, above so it's easy for me to do this, see that. I've got those in place. Now I'm gonna do my breakout and I'm gonna do it by, uh, oh gosh, uh, by email address because I don't have a great name here. Oh, maybe I'd have a last name, last name. It doesn't make a ton of sense, you know, because well, all of my Smiths are gonna be grouped together but you know, it is what it is, okay? So I've got my scatter chart here. To make this easy for me to like bracket this out and look at it, I'm gonna take this value. Uh, I'm gonna have a similar visual on the side here, but I'm gonna do my uh, breakout. I'm not gonna do my categorization by uh, last name. I'm gonna do it by uh, education. Right, so now it's very easy for me, based upon my education, to be able to like look at my information, find my users and my breakout. Now, in this case though, I'm gonna do, hang on, I wanna sh shrink this to make this a little easier for us to, uh, cause I'm gonna put some navigation, I want to put some navigations inside of here to give, uh, to make it easy for us to, to like look at one screen and see all of our information, okay? So this is, I'm gonna select these visuals again. I'm gonna right click them, I'm gonna say group. I'm gonna group them, and I'm gonna call this my scatter plot. Internet sales scatter plot. Okay, and now I can turn that on, that group on and off very easily with the bookmark, okay? So now if I want, like I can copy this, I can turn this off and I can create a new item right here. Look at that. Now it's, it, it automatically created that group name here, but now I could change this to something like my uh, decomposition tree, right? So we can actually start to build out that. And now I just changed my name to decomp. Ah. All right. So I've got my decomposition tree so I can add in a few things. So analyze, uh, explain by education, uh, explain by birth date, uh, I don't know, uh, gender, right? I'll, I'll include just, uh, just, just some stuff so we can see that functionality in here, right? So you can actually break it out by high value. You can delve into it and find out, come on. Oh, we're just still running here. Okay, uh, but you can see that it's like, you know, I, I've got this in place. So because I now have group visuals, it's gonna be very easy for me to like add in some bookmarks to like manage this, right? So uh, first off, I'm gonna open up my view. I'm gonna go into my bookmarks. I'm gonna turn that on. I'm gonna say add bookmark. And this one, uh, I'm gonna call this bookmark my decomp. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it my internet sales decomp. Now, the reason I'm doing I'm doing that is I'm going to want to link this internet sales decomp bookmark with the same uh, visual that I'm I'm hiding and unhiding. This is what makes it very easy for me to manage these down the road, so I don't actually have to have hundreds of bookmarks and and all sorts of craziness. Okay, because you want to keep this stuff as simple as possible. Okay. So I've got that one in place. I'm now going to switch these two visuals. I'm gonna add a new bookmark. So this is now internet sales scatter, right? So I've got those in place. Now it's easy for me with these bookmarks 
to to be able to continue to iterate on this. So I could even, you know, take this bookmark, right? Select it, copy it, uh, hide it, paste it again, and call this one uh, my details. Right, and so my details, I'm gonna switch this over to a matrix. Oopsies. I'll just get rid of that altogether. Right, so I've got my uh, matrix here. Maybe even I throw in a date dim uh, where I do year and month for columns. Here we go, come on now. Boy, we're super, we're running super good today. But then I just create a new bookmark for this one. Right, so now I've got my three bookmarks that allow me to easily pop between uh, my different visuals. Oh, and in this one, gotta hide my details and update the visual, go over to scatter. Boy, that's super fast today. Oops. Scatter, I got to hide my details on there again and update. So my decomp, my scatter, and my details are in here. Now all I have to do, we'll start with my scatter chart. I want that to be the first page that I have. I'm just going to stick in buttons. And I'm just going to stick in my uh, bookmark navigator buttons. Right, and now they're on my page and becomes easy for me to interact with, easy for me to manage this. And now uh, all I do is like choose internet scale scatter. I can just go through and easily select each one of these. Interesting how slow that is today. Boy, <sighs> must be in the doldrums of the soul. All right, well, that is how you use bookmarks. I hope it makes sense why it's important to like take a little time, group your visuals together, uh, especially if you're going to be leveraging bookmarks or even just the long uh, ongoing like management of your report. The stuff can be really hard and unwieldy. If you've ever worked with this, this technique of grouping makes it much easier to do that. A word of caution, grouping does have some like formatting challenges on there. Follow what I did here with a handful of visuals on a page and a handful of groupings. Don't attempt to do like weird overlayings to come up with some like custom visual. Look for a visual that does what you need. Uh, so that's not what I mean by using groupings. Uh, but groupings is more for like overall report and uh, visual management. All right. Now you have the best day ever. Um, oh, like I'm. I'm new to YouTube, so I keep forgetting. Make sure you've liked and subscribed. Um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, let me know uh, in the comments down below, what TV shows are you watching? If you're watching this far, <laughs> me and you must be on the same wavelength. I would love to know what TV show you're watching right now. Uh, so that I can uh, check it out. Would love to hear what you're on. Um, I'll let you know, me and my wife are on our fourth or fifth run through The Chosen, because uh, Chosen Season 5 is about to come out, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, but before we know it, that'll be out, and we'll be done, uh, and we'll be on looking for something new. So let me know in the comments down below what, what shows you're watching, all right? You have the best day ever. Peace. All right, and if this is too much for you, I get it. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to dedicate your life to this stuff like I have. To you know, but head over to bakertilly.com/digital. Click on the little button to get more information, and you know, myself or a colleague will reach out and we'll make sure that we get you taken care of. All right, uh, but if you think you can do this stuff and you can take it on, I got faith in you. I know you can do it. Check out these two videos right here. You know, maybe they'll help you. I think they will. Ha <laughs> ha.